This video will show you how to get set up with 12D Synergy's Workflow Max connector. We'll explain how to get the access you'll need to the Workflow Max API, how to configure 12D Synergy to connect with Workflow Max, how to set up the attribute mappings between Workflow Max and 12D Synergy, and how to run a test of your connector to make sure it works correctly. Connectors allow 12D Synergy to communicate with other software products. They run constantly in the background of Synergy to import data. This allows you to work in Synergy with the information that's been created in other software products such as jobs, tasks, documents, suppliers, clients, notes and others. It means that the data doesn't need to be imported twice. When information changes in the external system, it also automatically updates in Synergy. The attributes connected to those entities are pulled in. Because 12D Synergy's attribute system is so flexible, you can bring in any kind of data from an external software application. Each connector is downloaded as a separate plugin for Synergy. Once a connector pulls information into Synergy, you'll be able to use all of our standard features with the data, such as powerful search, change history, versioning and rollback. To get access to the Workflow Max API, go into your browser, go to Google and search for Workflow Max API. Click on the link to the Workflow Max API webpage, go into Authentication, and then the Contact Us page. Here you should just write a short message to the Workflow Max team, asking them for access to the API, providing your email address, and telling them your username. Connectors are downloaded from the 12D Synergy website at www.12dsynergy.com slash downloads slash connectors. They get installed through the 12D Synergy Administrator program. Run Synergy Administrator. Click on connectors and then install or upgrade connectors. Upload the connector from your hard drive in the location you previously downloaded it. You'll require a new 12D Synergy license that covers the Workflow Max connector. Speak to your 12D Synergy representative about the license. At this point, you now have the Workflow Max connector installed. As soon as the Workflow Max team sends you your API details by email, you can begin using the connector. When you click on the connector, you get the configuration screen for it. There's a number of different options in here and we'll run through each of them quickly. Clicking Run Now or Run Test will run the connector. You should never do the Run Now until after you've successfully done a test run. And we'll explain more about how to do a test run. You can set the connector to run on a schedule. And that's how you'd make it run in the background of Synergy on a regular basis. You can choose which user in Synergy the connector runs as. So any changes uh, to jobs, folders, etc., or any files that are uploaded will appear as this user. It's possible to load custom field attributes, and we'll come back to that in more detail. There's a number of configuration settings that are standard for the Workflow Max connector. Base API URL, you shouldn't need to make any changes to this. API key and account key are where you'll need to enter the details that Workflow Max has emailed to you for API access. Only import modified contacts. This means that each time the connector runs, it won't pull in all the contacts from Workflow Max. It'll only look for those that have changed since last time the connector ran. Only import current jobs. This will only pull jobs from Workflow Max, which on that side are marked as being in progress. Default job. If you choose to invo import invoices from Workflow Max, those invoices may or may not be associated with a job. If they are associated with the job, then they get filed into a folder in that job. If they're not associated with the job, then they'll get folded, filed into this default job that you enter here. Username and password are the username and password that you usually enter when you want to log into the 
website for Workflow Max. Invoice folder is where the folder path that you would store invoices in for any given job that gets pulled down from Workflow Max. Next I'll demonstrate how to map the data you wish to import field by field into Synergy attributes. Before you start, spend some time understanding which data you want to import into Synergy. The data will consist of entities and fields. Entities such as jobs and contacts, fields such as name, created date, phone number, etc. This is the data mapping tab. Here you can set up where in Synergy each of the external fields from Workflow Max will get stored. You can see that it's broken down into job mappings, contact mappings, company mappings, task mappings, file mappings and folder mappings. So as an example, for a job, there is a field called job type in Workflow Max. It's a string and when it gets added to Synergy, we've chosen to put it in an attribute that's called type. Now we can use this screen to change that to a different attribute. You can either create a new attribute of any name you like, or search and use any of your existing attributes. One really important field to be aware of is that each of the entities, jobs, contacts, tasks, etc. are going to have a Workflow Max ID. This is an important field because it's the unique identifier in Workflow Max that ties that entity to the entity on the Synergy side. That means that we don't duplicate the entity on the Synergy side and also that any time the data changes on the Workflow Max side, bring it across and store it in the correct entity on the Synergy side. So you need to always make sure that the Workflow Max ID is being imported. You can choose to leave attributes blank just by clicking on them and saying clear, in which case that single field will not get imported into Synergy, it just gets skipped. The other option is that you may not want every entity to get imported. In which case you can change this imported column to do not import. So what that means is we're not going to bring contacts across into Synergy at all. The other useful feature here is Synergy's automatic mappings. If you click yes for this, it's going to show you a list of all the fields which currently haven't been mapped from Workflow Max into Synergy. You can just click Create and Bulk and each of those attributes will get populated with their default name. It saves a lot of time. Load custom field attributes is the another feature that Workflow Max Connector supports. If you click on Load Custom Field Attributes, we're actually doing a call into the Workflow Max system to extract any custom fields you've set up in Workflow Max. So on the left here you can see that we've created some job custom fields in Workflow Max called custom drop down list one, Workflow Max checkbox one, etc. etc. You can see what type they'll get created as in Synergy and what attribute they will get stored against in Synergy. If you click create, then those mappings will also be added. A useful feature to know about is that connectors can easily be hooked up to job templates. You may want to use Workflow Max's job type field or create your own custom field that when mapped across to Synergy triggers your job templates match attribute. That means that when a matching job is imported from Workflow Max into Synergy, it's automatically populated with the folders, attributes, files, etc. from your template. Let's say for example in Synergy you'd created job template called design job template. It had a match attribute of an attribute called job type and it would successfully match when job type was set to design. This would be a enum or list type attribute in Synergy. In Workflow Max you could also create a job type called design. In your data mappings you would make sure that 
the job type in Workflow Max was being pulled across into Synergy's job type field and then when the connector created a new job it would naturally utilize the design job template that you've created. You could also use the constants tab for using job templates. Constants allow you to say for any job that's imported set my design job attribute to design. That way it wouldn't matter what it was set to on the Workflow Max side, you would always use that design job template in Synergy. Constants can be used for any other attributes and values too. Before testing your connector, always run a backup of the Synergy server database. This gives you a fallback in case you configure the connector incorrectly and need to restore to this point in time. If the connector isn't configured correctly, then it could import a large amount of data into your system that isn't formatted the way you wish. Next, use the Run Test button, which allows you to import a small controlled amount of data from the other software product into Synergy. Go over this test data and check that the attributes are named the way you want them. As you can see here, there's three different ways you can run test data from Workflow Max. You can import a single job, or a single staff member, or a single client name. A very useful feature that you should use at this time is the Logs tab. Here you can view the list of successful and unsuccessful imports. It allows you to review any problems that have occurred, fix them in the configuration and data mapping tabs, and then rerun the test. When you click on an item in the logs, you get the full message displayed. Finally, when you're happy with the imported test data, it's now time to set up the connector to run regularly and import all the data from Workflow Max. You can do this by setting it to run on a schedule and you can set how often that schedule will run.